Hello everyone, today we will understand the memoryless property. of exponential distribution. Let's understand the concept first. Suppose there is a light bulb which is survived up to time t. Say t is equal to uh, 30 hour. Again, it already survived up to let's say 50 hours and we denote it as t plus s where this time period is s which is 20 hours so first the light bulb survived up to 0 to 30 hour then it survived a little more 20 hours and in total 50 hours from 0 to 50 hours the light bulb survived but in terms of memoryless as i already mentioned you when i will i will apply the exponential distribution to model this one i will figure out that uh, this time uh, if the I, uh, I model with 0 to time 30 hour the, in exponential distribution it counts 0 to 30 hour very well but whenever I apply that that a light bulb which is uh, survived up to 30 hours what is the probability that it will survive more uh, extra 20 hours then the model does not uh, memorize that the bulb already survived 30 hours it's supposed to come out like this one that suppose uh, the light bulb or the variable of interest the survival of light bulb it is denoted by x then it will survive up to say t plus s hours when given that it already survived up to time t it already survived up to time t and what is the probability that it will survive up to t plus s hours right here also given so what is the probability of this it comes out that it does not memorize that this thing that the light bulb already survived up to t hours so it will give me as output that the probability will be depend on x greater than only s because of why because uh, it counts like that uh, suppose uh, first 0 to 30 hour okay then it is start uh, 30 hour to 50 hours right but I already mentioned that uh, 0 to 30 hour it counts and again when I condition that already survived up to 30 hours what is the probability that it will extra 20 hours in uh, will survive that it takes this 30 as a zero it begins with this point and ends in this point and what is the range of these points yes 20 hours and what is this 20 I denote in here I denote 20 as a s s 20 hours so so that is the way you can prove that the memoryless property of exponential distribution it only memorize uh, that the current time it does not memorize that he already passed a few hours okay so now we will see a mathematical proof of this uh, memoryless property of exponential distribution yeah uh, see in conditional distribution already apply this one from this line we can write uh, uh, the probability of x greater than t plus s and x greater than t divided by probability of x greater than t how i do this i used uh, uh, conditional uh, uh, conditional probability uh, like that probability of a uh, given b is equal to 
probability of A uh, intersection B divided by probability of uh, B. So that is the formula and next line what we can write from here so from that line we can write probability of x greater than t plus s and probability of x greater than t next uh, i can write like that one minus p of x less greater than or less than equal to t plus s probability 1 minus probability x less than or equal to t then I can write like that uh, 1 minus I will apply the formula formula of the CDF of exponential distribution as we already know 1 minus e to the power minus lambda and there is t plus s so that will be t plus s divided by 1 minus 1 minus e to the power minus lambda t next uh, what i can write uh, this one this one will be cancelled and this is will be plus so e to the power minus lambda t minus lambda s uh, then and then it will be e to the power minus lambda t next you can write like that e to the power minus lambda t minus lambda s uh, minus plus lambda t and uh, this one this one will be cancel so it remains e to the power minus lambda s and uh, i can write like this one 1 minus 1 minus e to the power minus lambda s and uh, 1 minus this one as a probability of x less than s i can write okay and from this part I can write uh, 1 minus 1 minus probability of x greater than s which will be probability of x greater than s so we proved that what we wanted to prove that exponential distribution is memoryless. Thank you for this part of the time.